sure we're coming in live. There we are. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is August 27th, 2021. And we're back in the kitchen doing a cooking live stream and we're going back to basics. Philosophy and not just pancakes, but sourdough pancakes. That's the name of the game for today. Lots of munching for Chicho. <laughs> and I have a bunch of stuff set up here. Um, sourdough bread is something that we just recently got into with my partner. Started going crazy uh, for the last few months, just making tons of sourdough bread. And it's they're absolutely brilliant. I've, I've uh, shared some pics uh, online on our Patreon page and whatnot. Cosmic Visions, let's go! <laughs> are you guys hungry <laughs> yum so what we've been doing is uh when you make sourdough you get a uh, discard which is basically the dough that you didn't use up to make sourdough right you have your starter and then the extra stuff uh you put aside and you can do whatever you want with it i've been playing around with this dough i've been uh frying things i've been uh making like um what do you call it tempura style type of things and i've been making pancakes and sourdough pancakes is where is that <laughs> you already know happy friday happy friday everybody mana dragons how are you doing the unobserved life is not worth living haha <laughs> socrates good day good day to you as well one day we got to do uh, we are doing philosophy so quotes from philosophers are very much greatly appreciated uh, Xander, how are you doing? Good morning, Chicho. Pancakes sound so good right now, man. I've seriously, when she started making sourdough bread, we sort of went crazy. And I was making sourdough pancakes like two, three times a week, just cooking up sourdough pancakes, eating it up. And in a matter of like a month and a half, I gained like, I don't know, seven pounds or something like this. And I was like, okay, you can't be having pancakes like twice a week or three times a week. It's a little too much. <laughs> deep flake how are you doing good morning good morning cheryl how's life happy friday everybody happy friday everybody <laughs> fun fun uh setup is the same as before gang i'm gonna have a couple of the cameras here let me give you guys this, the lowdown let me give you guys the lowdown i gotta turn stuff on so uh here we go here's here's one camera here's the other camera so we're gonna have uh, these two going. Wait, I have it right. I have it right. Good, 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 good. We're, go we're gonna have making one of them is gonna be gluten free and the other one gluten pancakes, right? So we're gonna do gluten free and normal pancakes. Okay. Felix, how did you show? I've been cooking a lot recently. My favorite thing to make right now is onion rings. Nice. I made onion rings with a sourdough as well. Uh, sourdough batter. Uh, super good it's so much more simpler than i thought but it eats um it eats through your oil spotty crazy yeah i i made i made a, a onion rings twice and it was really oily right it was delicious but on the oily side so i cut back on that uh, <laughs> a little bit hey chichio papa easy how are you doing good morning good morning Hope you're doing well. Elder God, he comes to quote Bruce Lee, one of the greatest philosophers there ever was. Quote from Bruce Lee, the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. Awesome, 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 awesome. If you study one philosopher in your life and stick to his philosophy, Bruce Lee would be it. <laughs> Bruce Lee and Bill Hicks, you got everything covered. Gluten free for me, please, Chicho. Awesome, Elder God, indeed. You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Cosmic visions. I had made my favorite chicken soup recently. So yum. Mm. Chicken soup time is coming. Fall and winter chicken soup season. Gluten free for me, pa, pa, pa. gang. And so we're gonna make pancakes here, and we're gonna eat them here, and I'm gonna make the dough here. Okay. So let's do gluten free on this side and gluteny over here okay uh, check this out xander auto mod grab the hicks so your comment is bill hicks is my favorite philosopher he, he, he was a philosopher for me as well a philosopher is 
to me the definition of a philosopher is someone's uh, way of being that you incorporate into your life and you practice some of their teachings right and Bill Hicks is definitely fits that bill right definitely fits that bill Muhammad Ali as well a philosopher right Felix I've also been having something I saw in your videos to eat as well that being sourdough toast with cheese and jam yum I use feta yum but I haven't been able to find too many good jams near me that would go well with it uh, so, <laughs> well for me I do rarely ever buy jam I make my own jams right as you know um, and all the jams go amazing with feta feta and jam is amazing uh, two types of jam are fantastic with feta blackberry and blueberry so good so good summer returns oh gang by the way since we said blueberry I'm gonna make some blueberry sauce as well so I'm gonna get that going and let it curcle and stuff like this and then we're gonna make the sourdough doughs um, sourdough uh, batter for the pancakes okay and quick intro let me do the quick intro actually no let me set up the blueberries first let me set up the blueberries first we got a bunch of blueberries uh, that we have frozen we got two more bags like this in the freezer so all I'm gonna do to make blueberry sauce oh it's gonna go so good with the with the sourdough pink with the feta cheese and sourdough so I'm just gonna put it in the pot and I'm just gonna put it on like temperature like two out of nine right and let it cook up where's the lid for this there's a lid okay that's all we're gonna do that's my blueberry sauce okay and I have blackberry jam that we're gonna yum on as well you need to uh, resend the message I think as well how so on what's part do I have to do something elder God I've never done or even heard of feta and jam have to try oh deep flake you're in for a treat so good so good cosmic missions I added carrots celery potatoes onions that's a chicken soup lettuce chicken and broth nice made enough for a whole week yum island king divinity how are you doing hey chicho hi chicho it's been a while how are you doing good gonna be gonna be eating pancakes <laughs> gonna be eating pancakes oh yeah my intro my intro my intro speedy gonzalez gang speedy gonzalez da -da -da -da. i'm on patreon gang for those of you who are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support we're live streaming on twitch gang for those of you who are supporting this work on twitch thank you very much and mods thank you for being here and taking care of business we do announce these live streams on Mines, VK, Gap, Parlor, BitCloud. Getter has having problems. It wasn't recognizing my email. Couldn't log on. We'll see where that goes. We'll keep on adding and subtracting with the stuff, right? Uh, some of these things are lasting a while, which is fantastic. We do have a Discord page. You can join our Discord anytime you want. Island King Divinity, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. What a time to be alive. What a time to be alive. I don't think block messages resent after being allowed. Oh, what? It didn't. It didn't allow it. The Bill Hicks one. Oh, Xander, you gotta resend it. I guess this is what Xander said. I always thought they allowed. Dink. This is what Xander said. Boink. Oh, it's gonna do a double, double hit. But I just copied and pasted it. It's okay, Elder God. We love you. Haha. <laughs> Mod love. Awesome. Awesome emote. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. So that's what Bill uh, Xander said about uh, Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks is my favorite philosopher. I wish my Wi Fi didn't cut out every five seconds. I really enjoy watching each other. Oh, it's unfortunate it's cutting out, man. Uh, some places, internet, I can't believe it's taking so long to roll out high-speed internet across most of the world really for live streams when we don't have any visuals we upload them to SoundCloud and that sh those podcasts and their uploaders podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including Spotify iTunes and 
couple of days ago I made it available on Amazon music or as well all right so it should be available on all those three and hopefully more and we will be uploading this live stream to 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 censor to bitch rumble and odyssey okay let's take these downs and get the dough the batter going let's get the batter going let's get the batter going okay X is blocked, I know, crazy. Okay, let me show you what we got going. Okay. Here. I got two glass jars. Let's put this guy here. And let's put this guy here. Let's put this guy here. And let's put this guy here. Okay. Now, gang. I'm sorry if I'm not going to read the chat too often. I'm going to keep track of what it is I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to make the gluten one first. Okay. And the gluten one is just here. Let me show you the discard. Where's my big, oh, here it is. Here's my big forks. Check this out. This is discard here. I'll show it here. It's better. This is gluten discard for sourdough, right? Which is basically the gluten, um, like sourdough starter uh sourdough yeah the sourdough starter right and whatever you don't use up when you're cooking the bread what you do is uh add a little bit of flour or you put it in the side and it grows slowly and we keep this in the fridge usually uh joe chicho a while ago i accidentally made pancakes with self-raising flour they turn out to be about uh, one centimeter thick. Cool. These should do it as well to a certain degree. If, if we left it long enough, we're not going to leave it long enough to uh, uh, rise. I feel like Chicho and Chat uh, dipping my toes into the philosophical stuff with a question: Which fictional piece of media had the largest impact on your life? Ooh, good question. Which fictional? So check this out. Check this out. It's really sticky, right? And it's like bubbles in it. It's got a little bit of bubbles in it, right? And that's what happens. It's like, I don't know if it's fermenting. My partner knows all the lingo. I don't. Okay, I just cook with it. So we're going to take some of this, right? We're going to take some of this. And we're going to put it in the bowl. And the more you put, the more sour your pancakes your dough is going to be right so the starter the and the discard for sourdough if you put a lot in it it's going to be more sour if you put less in it it's going to be less sour okay so i'm putting about this much in here and i'll lift this up to show you what's how much it is check this out so in a bowl like this i put in this much now i'm not weighing it i'm sorry but i'm not you know I I don't weigh too much unless I'm baking and I don't consider this baking, right? So it's about this much sourdough discard, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add water to this and open it up. Okay. Summer summer returns, Chicho. Have you read any manga or just Western comics? I've read some manga for sure. Uh, Akira for sure I've read. Uh, Lone Wolf and Cub I've uh, I've read. I've read um, um, Tekken Tekken, the black and white translation, uh, and there's an amazing anime movie in it. But seriously, one of the greatest anime movies ever. Right. So what we're doing right now with the water, just opening this up, right? And it opens up pretty easily. Okay. Now this one we're gonna use gluten flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use white flour and. Uh, let's do whole wheat we've got a whole bunch of different types of flowers again i want to show you we'll we'll let you guys decide what type of flour you want for a gluten-free flour we've got a whole bunch of gluten-free flour oh yeah remember your favorite uh felix question about your favorite piece of fiction attack on tintin <laughs> that influence a uh, dune dune would be it dune would be for sure uh, I'm going to read the question again to make sure uh, I'm answering it properly. Okay, so I'm going to 
let that open and then I'm going to add the flower. Let me put this over here. And let me read Felix's question again, just to make sure I read it properly. Uh, dipping my toes into the philosophical stuff with a question, which fiction piece of media had the largest impact on your life? Uh, fiction on my life. Um, Dune had a huge impact on my full philosophy to a certain degree in relation to fear, right? Because the quote, the, the quote that everybody that has either watched Dune or read Dune or has heard about Dune uh, knows fear is the mind killer, right? That is an amazing philosophy to incorporate into your life that has had a huge impact into my life, right? Let me think about the rest now. Check this out. I'm going to use whole wheat and white flour in this guy, right? That's great. Whole wheat and white flour. I <laughs> know these buckets, the honey buckets. So these are just whole wheat, whole wheat and white flour, right? So let's put a little in there. Fear is the mind killer. What are some other people's? Uh, fiction that has impacted your life pop papa izzy let's do should we do measure some of this okay let's do this okay this is about let's say almost a cup of white flour let's throw that in there okay I'm going to put almost a cup of white flour and almost a cup of whole wheat flour. Okay. We're going to make a lot of, lot of dough. Maybe eat it for like two or three days. Cup of almost a cup of whole wheat flour. Okay. And you can see it, it's a little bit darker, right? And we're not going to put more in that. Let's put this actually let's leave this here for now let's put these guys back and now all we're going to do is mix it i'm going to get it the right uh, consistency i want it to be fairly liquidy because i like the so i'm going to most likely add more water okay Is it completely unrelated? I see the litter robot in the back. How does the ramp attach do with keeping litter off the floor? Uh, you know what? Initially, when we got this, we didn't get the ramp, right? And the kitty cats were jumping in and out, so they were dragging a lot of the litter was popping out. So we ended up getting the ramp, and it's reduced it a fair bit. Okay, it's it hasn't reduced it as much as we'd like. But you're not getting the kitty cats jumping out with litter popping out of there, right? So highly recommend the steps. And again, if you this is the thing we're talking about. The kitty cats get in there, it's like a spaceship, and they do their business, right? And then they come out, and like a few minutes later, this thing does a rotation, goes goes over here, and the business goes into the container in the bottom and then comes back and the litter fills up again. So self cleaning to a certain well, self disposing, I guess. And then after like two or three days, we empty the container in the bottom. Uh, highly recommend, highly recommend. Now check this out. This is way too hard, right? So let me show you. This is way too hard. So I'm going to add water, but I'm going to add water slowly because this thing opens up fairly fast. Okay. And gang, what do we say? Every stream. Don't forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on 
Sensor so two. Oh, I missed a lot of chat. My chat paused. I'm way, oh wow, I'm way down here. I'm scrolling all the way down again. For some reason, my ch uh, chat pa paused. So, what were some of people's uh, thing about fiction that has affected them the most? Another another thing was that I read that really impacted me. Actually, it, it was interesting. The the concept of it. Um, was the Andromeda strain. And I read that in high school. And for some reason that really stuck with me. And it's about a virus, right? Starsky, how you doing? Papa Izzy, we have it without the ramp. It's a mess. <laughs> yeah, we got the ramp pretty quick after getting it. <laughs> so check this out. This is pretty good consistency, right? For pancakes. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this here and we're gonna make the gluten free one. Okay, apologies if I didn't get, you know, measure out the water, or how much we put in, but it's the consistency I look for, right? It's Cheryl, Andromeda Strain was a great book, great book. And the movie was very good. I really liked the movie. You know what? I think I'm gonna recommend, or if I remember, recommend Andromeda Strain for our next movie stream fantastic movie as well the book was very good very good okay gluten-free check this out game this is the discard for coconut flour discard okay coconut flour discard and my partner does all the measurements she's very good with the measurements and stuff like this right so I'm gonna add coconut starter or discard to this okay let's bring out i'm gonna do this with a spoon check this out and it smells amazing like really it it smells amazing absolutely amazing take a look at the see this and there is other types of gluten-free uh starter that my partner has used used previously but we have a lot of the coconut so we're going to use the coconut Ooh, a little spillage. so i'm using about this much right it's about the same as the other one i'm going to add a little bit more it's about the same as the other one okay let's put this here now what i'm going to do because it's going to be gluten-free i'm going to use a different uh cup to put in the gluten-free flour and a different fork for the gluten-free, just to make it legit gluten-free, right? Uh, we don't need this anymore. So let's put this here. Let's close this up. And we keep these in the fridge, okay? So let's get rid of the space. Oh, here's another one, actually. Here's just a gluten-free uh, discard. And when you put it in the fridge, it separates its water there. So what you can do is mix it all up and this gluten-free discard looks more like the like the coconut one is very uh, it's not sticky right this one becomes more sticky it's like this one so you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this i'm gonna mix this up a little bit okay so let's bring out a fork well, let's do a knife first so check this out i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna whoop, I'm gonna mix it up a little bit and I'm gonna take some of this discard and put it with the coconut as well and this is harder okay it's like paste but water with water it breaks up fairly easily take some of this now and put it in here and mix it up should I take some of this card no I'm not gonna put some this discard back because you don't want to contaminate the discard putting it in here and putting it there so it's just gonna be very soury this gluten-free pancake that we're gonna make right 
So take a look at this. It's much more sticky than the coconut one, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of this in there. It's going to be seriously very soury. Let's put a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And then you can put these back in the fridge, right? Because when you put it back in the fridge, here's a word that's banned on Twitch. But it basically, I'm going to say it because it's legit sourdough cooking, right? When you um, put the discard in the fridge, it retards the growth, right? Slows down the growth. So when you make sourdough, when you're making the, um, the what do you call it, the starter, initially you put it outside and let it grow a little bit. And then when you want to slow it down, retard the growth of it, you put it in the fridge and you can keep it there for a long time, right? So I'm going to put these in the fridge. I actually had an another one that was like uh, coconut discard as well. So I'm just going to put this one back here. And the other starter, so okay, we'll leave it there. So what we need to do is mix this up with water, right? Let's do this. Let's put this here. Let's grab. OK, we need a new one of these. Actually, before I do that, let me grab a clean fork that hasn't been used. Add water into this and open it up. Right? You see the coconut is very, uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't stick. So what we're going to do, I'm going to give you guys a choice of what type of flour, gluten-free flour you want to use. One of them for sure we're going to put in there, okay? Because it gives it a sticky feel to it and it's really nice actually. It gives it a crispy feel to it. Add water. Let's see how the blueberries are doing. Oh, I'm going to kick up the temperature on the blueberries. We want to melt it, right? Make sure the sauce is going to be ready. So I'm putting it at five out of nine. Okay, now actually, yeah, four and a half out of nine, right in the middle. So gluten free flour. Okay, gluten free flour. We got, here's the choices we got. We got millet, okay. We can put some millet in there. We got sorcham, okay. We can put some sorcham in there, okay. We got buckwheat flour, okay. From what I understand, this is like gluten-free, it's not it doesn't contain gluten, but you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. And we got tapioca. Okay. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Apologies if I'm not going to catch them all, right? And we got tapioca. Now we're going to use some tapioca for sure because it gives it the stickiness. Okay. And tapioca flour, that's unique flavor. Out of these three, you guys want to check to make sure they're all gluten free. Buckwheat flour, Elder God, buckwheat. We got buckwheat going in there. We can add a little bit of one of the other ones as well if you want, or we can just stick with buckwheat and tapioca. Okay. Any other uh, flowers you want in there? We got two more. Sorcham. I don't even know what sorcham is. And millet. Okay. Rohan, good evening, Chicho. I don't care about the flour. I'm waiting for the dice, dice pork. You need to put in some dice pork. <laughs> it's gonna be veggie, veggie pancakes, brother. Funny, funny. Dice pork. That would be delicious, man. Now you got me craving dice pork. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put the buckwheat in first okay so let's check this out elder god despite the word wheat in its name buckwheat is a naturally gluten-free food that is related to the uh, rhubarb oh wow rhubarb plant 
it's a versatile grain that can be steamed and um, eaten in place of rice or the whole um, seeds can be ground into a fine flour buckwheat has high levels of fiber and is a great source of protein awesome thank you very much Alder God, for that. and by the way we have rice flour as well if we wanted to put in rice flour but I think buckwheat and tapioca should be good enough so we'll do the same thing almost a cup of buckwheat actually a, a cup of buckwheat and the tapioca I think we'll put half a cup okay bacon pancakes making bacon <laughs> pancakes <laughs> so here's a cup of buckwheat okay and and we're gonna put almost a little bit more than half a cup of flour no rice flour elder got no rice flour okay randall how are you doing hey all was making dinner but finally here awesome we're making breakfast breakfast for chicho and let's do tapioca 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 sure sorghum is a gluten free uh, is uh, is gluten free as well yeah the four that i showed it's gluten free but i don't know what sorghum is what is sorghum you know what let's put a let's be consistent we'll put a cup of uh what do you call it uh, <laughs> tapioca in there as well <laughs> okay we'll put a cup of tapioca in there as well Choo -choo. So, so far the recipe is uh, sourdough discard or starter and a cup of two cups of flour and the water is we're looking for the consistency right so let's mix this up let's mix this up and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability uh capital is power to humanity let's mix this up so you can tell it's about the same consistency as the other one right hard now we're gonna add water and open it up and when you're doing this don't go too hard on it initially because it'll catch and splash you anti-socialist behavior speaking of transparency of capitalism as power oh you can't link anything anti uh socialist behavior oh well never mind i tried to post the link where you posted a link to capitalist power jonathan neat sense sorum is pretty cool a bit like corn but doesn't grow as tall really so it's like corn can you eat it like uh, uh make it like corn like steam it and stuff so corn flour is you, yeah we have corn flour for sure we have corn flour we don't have corn flour here i wonder why we didn't get corn flour corn flour would be nice how deep is the in the making are we we just started making the flour so basically we took uh sourdough discard which is just like sourdough starter right and added those in the bowls and added two cups of flour and this is uh pancakes with gluten and this is uh gonna be pancakes without gluten over here and here we added one cup of white flour one cup of whole wheat and mix the starter or the discard saldo discard with the flour and water until we got a consistency sort of liquid you can tell right? and we did the same thing same thing here but gluten-free starter and a cup of tapioca flour and a cup of uh, a buckwheat flour okay 
And I'm not adding salt. Some people add salt. I'm not adding salt. Okay. Cheryl, best eating like any grain products, but I don't know anyone that eats it steamed. Popped, yes. Pop. So you can pop it as well, like popcorn? No. Can you? Meta Dragons. Yesterday I was uh, talking with my friend about the extraction case. And for the first time, I felt informed enough to actually share my feelings and provide details of the case. Those World Tomorrow streams really were an important series of streams to attend. And thank you all for the info. Oh, our pleasure, Meta Dragons. Yeah, the Julian Assange's World Tomorrow series is a must watch for anyone that wants to understand our current state of affairs and where we're headed. Check out the consistency, right? We got this. Right? And this, which is about the same, right? So they're gonna make thin pancakes. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Anti-socialist behavior. Israeli study in preprint shows that the natural exposure to C is 13 times more effective at preventing infection than P. Bion tank <laughs> is at preventing breakthrough cases in C. Not even the Jews. Yeah. Yeah, we're sharing a lot of that info, uh, anti-social behavior on our Discord page. Oh, that's the link. Yeah, go to our Discord page. I'm pretty sure I would have linked that up already. Or if we haven't, link it up for us. Okay. Even if you don't bother looking up, just link it up for us. It's okay to get second uh, links, important information coming in. Right. So we got our sourdough starters or flowers going, right? Let me just give this a wipe. Give our space a little clean, right? Okay. So let this sit. Let's check out the blueberries. Check out the blueberries. So I'm going to show you the blueberries. And we need a spoon for the blueberries to mix them up. Check it out. See this? Right. So I'm just going to keep on letting this steam away or cook away right so it's on medium until it uh, what do you call it it breaks apart right now pancake time pancake time okay let's put this guy over here let's put this guy over here hit these guys up as we're making pancakes okay now I need this in this and this in this so different scoopers for the dough thank you very much for the follow I didn't catch the name it was too late finally here greetings from Finland it's 10 p.m. here greetings Finland how are you doing Hamudani, Hamudani. Welcome to pancakes. <laughs> so I'm um, putting the temperature here. Now pancakes I cook on low, low temp, right? Right now I'm putting this on three out of nine just to get the heat up. And this one I'm putting on three out of nine as well. This element cooks hotter than this element, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use olive oil. Okay. We're going to use olive oil. Just let it soak in. Get it heated, heated, heated enough. When you put the uh, batter in, you get a little sizzling sound. Okay. And for the goodies, we're going to mix with, put, put in, eat with the pancakes. Check this out. from the patio I cooked up okay 
oh yeah i should put some eggs in here too eggs and pancakes is amazing little sour sub how are you doing and welcome to our stream and thank you for the follow now the grapes in our patio check this out i cooked them up i made some grape juice and grape paste right so this is grape paste is like tart okay so i'm gonna put a little bit of this uh you know it's gonna be what i'm gonna eat with the pancakes a little bit it's delicious Sure the blueberries are cooking nicely so i'm going to cook it bring it down to a two because i don't want it to boil over okay check let me show you the grape juice the amount of grapes we cooked was i, I haven't shared the picture the harvest of the grapes basically cooked about three quarters of the picture i'm going to share but this is what the grape juice looks like okay and we've got two jars of this i've already gone through almost one jar right and it's a really strong like it, not really strong but strong right so we pour in like this much and then fill it up with water so in a glass you pour in a little bit in the bottom and then fill it up with water and you get like delicious organic homegrown grape juice and all i did to make this was i added the grapes and a little bit of organic cane sugar okay and that's the paste that you saw there the grape juice is amazing with uh, soda as well okay chicho or elder god or cheryl how do i join the discord um discord server thank you very much cheryl it has a beautiful color it's a beautiful color i don't know why it goes pink the grapes are green the the sugar that I use, just cane sugar, is brown, but it goes pink. Like, very weird. It's it's super delicious. Tart. Tart. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to use some honey. I like honey and pancakes, right? We got, uh, what do you call it? Maple syrup. I'm Canadian. We got maple syrup. Maple syrup and pancakes is amazing. Got myself some blackberry jam from last year that we made yeah the pink is crazy cheryl eh? <laughs> here let me show you what it look, what what it's like the consistency here let me bring out a glass i'll do a shot of uh grape uh, uh grape sauce grape juice concentrate here's the we had this was a full right in the last two days i've drank like this much of it right and we gave a little bit to our neighbors check this out Take a bite. it's like shot of grape juice concentrate really nice Salute. No alcohol, but you could put alcohol in there. It'd be amazing with alcohol in there. Ah, that smack. I could imagine it being golden with a pink tinge, but wow. Amazing. Really nice. Really gang. Like, it's very unique. The best grape juice I've ever had. Addictive. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Okay, check this out. When you put it, the oil in the pan, this is what I want. I want it to be runny. So cover the whole bottom of the pan, right? And you want to see the streaks in the oil. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put. The big one is our gluten-free one, right? Yeah, a little bit more. And 
the gluten one. I'm going to give the gluten one a little bit of a shake, right? No, it should have been a little bit hotter. I'm going to kick up the temperature on this one a little bit. I want it to be sizzling a little bit more. And I'm going to put on my apron. Okay. And gang, as always, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. So this one, I kicked it up to four out of nine. This one I've left at three out of nine, okay? I can almost smell uh, your chicken from the U.S. <laughs> kitchen, <laughs> chicken. <laughs> My chickens, the kitchen from the U.S. show. Awesome, awesome. It's a nice kitchen. Uh, I like cooking in here. Really, I like cooking here. And I'm going to crack open the blackberry, show you the blackberry sauce. And take a look. You get the little bubbles. I don't know if you can see it. Check it out. Check it out. See the bubbles? Boop, boop. Right? You can make the sourdough uh, batter, right? Earlier, right? Like if we made it earlier, if I made it like two hours ago, three hours ago, it would be more bubbly, more fluffy, more light, right? So the sourdough pancakes would be thicker, right? They would have more bubble air, air pockets of bubbles in there, right? Uh, both amazing making it right away and amazing making it and letting it sit look tomorrow when I eat pancakes again <laughs> because we're not gonna eat all that today it's gonna be thicker <laughs> right the one on stage right looks like it's uh, going to be good stage right right is this right for you guys Everything you make seems so healthy. I try, void, brother. It's, uh, I stopped eating crap food because I've reached an age where my body can't process garbage as well as it used to when I was 18 or 20 or 25 or whatever it was, right? So I wanna stay healthy. I don't wanna deal with the medical system at all, right? Really, and the best, thing i found out to do to stay as healthy as possible is to eat well right is to eat well okay so this one yeah okay so that's right for you guys take a look this is blackberry jam that i made last year we're gonna make some more this year as well take a look amazing jam amazing jam the color on it is amazing Right. so good so good so good we're gonna use some blackberries too elder god owners of of dogs will have noticed that if you provide them with food and water and shelter and affection they will think you are you are god whereas owners of cats are compelled to realize that if you provide them with food and water and shelter and affection they draw the conclusion that they are gods ha 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 and then they give you that toxa virus thing toxa parasite thing and you think they're cute as well <laughs> you worship them <laughs> Some jam get bad after no no you seal it i have jam that i made like five years ago you seal it and it's perfect right this was sealed i just cracked it open i should have shown you but you, i hope you heard it went Cough right so right now i can do this i'm going to turn it down a little bit so this has reached a good heat temperature take a look at this one and then take a look at this one it's sort of cracker this is good we're just going to leave it there this is a turbo boil thing it heats up a lot faster right 
we sometimes round we sometimes use sparkling water for uh oh more fluff and crisp in waffle batter never tried in pancake though oh i've never thought about using uh, sparkling water i'm just gonna flip this so you see take a look nice this one's not ready yet for flipping this one i could have waited a little bit longer but i wanted to flip it just to, just to cook it on both sides elder god a philosopher is a person who doesn't care which side his bread is buttered on he knows he eats both sides anyway awesome antisocial behavior chicho my chef mother would uh, tan your hide for using metal on metal uh this is metal on uh what do you call it on uh, cast iron which is okay to use metal on cast iron is well some people say don't because it it uh it scratches the cast iron but man there's nothing like metal skillets right there's nothing like metal skillets so agreed uh, my mom wouldn't be as harsh my mom wouldn't be as harsh my mom would throw me out of the kitchen if i was using this and back in the day when people were using teflon you would never use metal on teflon right it's like cracking open poison and putting it in your body right cheryl older jam may discolor a bit uh, if it isn't stored in a dark place but um it if heated process it should last a long time yeah it lasts a long time then. let's flip this lots of oil the first pancake has lots of oil on it because you know you're sort of seasoning the pans at the same time right joe chicho uh many ancient egyptian gods were depicted as cats yeah yeah i think look there's something about cats so different than dogs right i really grew an affinity for cats or a relationship with cats uh, about 21 years ago when i was experimenting with salvia the menora kitty cats understood understand entheogens dogs on the other hand don't from my experience okay dogs trip out bakul dada pertinent to oops chat flipped pertinent uh to let folks know they need to throw away uh those plastic non-stick uh, crap pan indeed that have harmful pfoa pfoe elements yeah do not cook with teflon teflon is poison right yeah pasteurized jam is absolutely fine there's nothing alive do, 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 in it to make it go bad elder god roast beef medium is not only a food it is a philosophy sealed at life's uh, dining table uh, seated at life's dining table with the menu of moral moral more morals before you your eye wanders a bit over the ent entries i don't have my glasses on so it's a little blurry uh the ordo Ordovor, Ordovor, and the uh, things Allah, though you know that roast beef medium is safe and sane and sure. Okay, I'm done on the concepts. <laughs> Funny. Oh, this side is getting. Check that out. A little bit crispy. Throw away all, all our Teflon pans. Cast iron for the win. Cast iron for the win. Nice. So see the difference in this, right? Now we gotta eat this. So gang, how do we eat this? I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn, because this is done, right? Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this on top of here. I don't want the oil to burn because there's nothing on there. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the pancake in a plate, put another bit of dough in there, and then put our table on here, <laughs> the wood, and eat on top of it, and do the same over here. Okay. Let's do this one. 
And the this is a tapioca. It gives it a crispy texture, crispy outside. Nice. Let's put this here. Let's put this here. Hopefully I won't make too many crazy sounds. But I'm gonna turn this down, let it cook slowly. So I'm putting this down on two. I'm gonna put this down on two as well, a little bit below two, because we want it to cook slowly now, because we're gonna get into the eating process. Legendary 73, thank you for the follow. Almost like Johnny Cakes. I don't know what Johnny Cakes are. Edna Ferber was the person that uh, wrote it about the beef stuff, Elder God. What's Johnny Cakes? Anti-socialist behavior. Okay, this is good. Whoop. Let's put some dough in here. So our gluten dough. So one and a half scoops, one and a bit, okay? Let's see this one. This one's bubbling up. Boop, boop. Now, let's put this guy on here. Hopefully we won't damage the cutting board. Let's put this guy on here. Check it out. Pretty good, right? <laughs> now I'm gonna I'm gonna use feta cheese. I love feta cheese. I got some sa sour cream here too. So let's put in some feta cheese in this. Yeah. Let's put in some feta cheese on the side. We're gonna have two plates going, of course, right? Let's put some sour cream on the side. Sour cream and pancakes is absolutely the bomb. So good, so good. So good, so good. Let's put maple syrup. Let's go, let's go classic. Nice. Now before we start eating it up, let's make sure we're taking care of this one. I did say Salvia the Venorum earlier. Kitty cats, get along with Salvia the Venorum. Okay, this is good too. Let's put another flour in this or gluten free. This guy on top. Let's put our plate on this. Take a look at this guy. Right. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, let's do the same. Put our side stuff on here. Sour cream. Oh, our blueberry is gone. Nice. Our blueberry here is done. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, so I'm turning off the blueberry. So we've got blueberry sauce too, can't forget about that. Let's put some feta on here. Let's do this classic as well with maple syrup. Okay. Now, let's have a munch on this one first. Very, very nice. It's a little crispy on the outside, moist on the inside. Put a little sour cream on there. Very good. Let's go gluten free. My tummy's gonna go, what's going on here, man? Right? 
So you heard a little crisp crisp on the pancake, right? This is going to do it as well. Super nice. Let's see. Take a look. Very good. Very good. Super delicious. Let's do it with a little bit of feta. Super delicious. Mm hmm. Very yummy. I'm gonna check on pancake after this one. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna put some blueberry sauce on this too. There you go. Big bite. Mm -hmm. We're gonna flip this. I think. No, I can go a little bit more. Come back, pancake. Very yummy. Very yummy. You know what? Let's put some blackberry sauce on this. Blackberry jam. Let's put a little blackberry on this guy too. Why not? We'll do the blueberry later on the next pancake. This is the feta, right? It's gonna drip. Whoop. There you go. Amazing. I can feel sauce through, through the wall. <laughs> sauce passed out right now. They were up early. They get up early with me, or I get up early with them. With feta. Look at this. This is like a power pancake. Look at that. It's like dessert. Look at that. So nice. So nice. Mm hmm. Very yummy. No, seriously. Let's do it with the um, sourdough. Oh, you know what? I gotta flip. I gotta flip these guys. Mm, this one's okay. But we're gonna flip this one. Let me bring this over. Mm -hmm. You get the couple of bubbles? Oh no, this is gonna go more. Nice. Cooking it slow is good. Check out this one. Oh, oh. Hmm. We can flip this one. Right. My fork and knife fell in, so they're all sticky. So I'm gonna grab new ones. Tea with pancakes. <sighs> Whoa. Let's do this. For the next pancake, we'll do honey and blueberry. <laughs> yeah. 
And the cat box, the litter box is awesome. Seriously, Meta Dragons. It's really, I'm not, oh, I'm not into cleaning litter boxes, right? So this thing is amazing. Look at this guy, I'm gonna try to pop this. I wanna try to pop this with a beard. Oh, juice is coming out. Look at that mess. Mm hmm. Fantastical. Let's put a little bit of, of the sauce on the side. I want to put feta inside of it. This is diet food, by the way. <laughs> Honey and blueberry, Cheryl. Yeah, so good, so good. So good, so good. When my partner started making these things, the sourdough, all this discard, I was eating like this like two to three times a week. I gained a little weight. Big pop. This one too. Let's do this one with sour cream. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Look at this goodness. Look at this goodness. Whoa, whoa, whoa look at this. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna fall on me. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We're out of pancakes. What? We can't be out of pancakes. We need to make more pancakes. We need to flip this guy. Nice. And I want to take this guy now. Let's put this guy over here. I have a sip of tea. Elder God, quote, your time is limited. So don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs. Here's the kicker with Steve Jobs. There are people that idolize Steve Jobs. So people were doing exactly the opposite of what Steve Jobs was telling them, right? Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Guess what we're eating? Pancakes. And chat. Boy, am I mad I missed part of the food stream. Damn it, damn it. <laughs> to fill you in, gluten-free pancakes here. Regular pancakes with gluten here. This has got uh, gluten sourdough starter with a cup of uh, white flour, cup of whole wheat flour. And we made about this much less four pancakes less two pancakes right this one over here gluten-free sourdough starter right or discard with a cup of tapioca flour and a cup of buckwheat flour i've already eaten one of each and they're amazing right and this is what the sourdough starter looks like or sourdough batter looks like right and less two pancakes because this is the second one. Ah, super delicious. Super delicious. We need a pancaking mode. Oh, we do too. We do too. Can I flip them in the air? I haven't really tried. I don't really do the flipping in the air, but let's check it out. Yeah, I can do it. Hold on, I gotta do it here then. Yeah. 
There we go. Hold on, which side do I want that? No, I want this side now. This guy. Where is this guy? No, this guy needs to stay there. Quote from anti-socialist behavior. Quote, as long as you move the production of your electronic devices to places where all media is tightly controlled by the state, then you don't have to worry about the results of other people thinking you're a terrible person. Steve Jobs. <laughs> yeah, Steve Jobs. <laughs> Hilarious. And uh, all you need to do is put nets around the building where people are working. So if they decide to off themselves because their life is horrendous, uh, you can save their lives. So maybe, maybe Apple and... Uh, What's the, what was that company called? Uh, every year they put out a little report saying we've saved this many lives. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Meta Dragons. I'm gonna head out, gang. Thank you for an amazing food stream. Really was a beautiful change of pace. Have a wonderful day. You too as well, Meta Dragons. Hope you enjoy your day and have a fantastic weekend. Lonely Piggy, are you having fruits with these? Like uh last pancake i we had uh, i had some blackberry jam with the first two pancakes i've cooked up some blueberries this one we're going to do with blueberries i do have bananas and stuff uh you know we got bananas up there uh, i got some peach compote uh, as well but we'll see how much more my tummy can take after two more pancakes rendell all i can think of is now <laughs> of is how all of these great motivational quotes don't apply well to bad people that do bad stuff yeah and steve jobs i'm i'm on the mindset of uh, uh stallman right uh richard stallman that said the world is a better place uh, now that he's gone right <laughs> she shows certified pancake crop i practice <laughs> How about practice? This is Pancake. Thank you, Cheryl. But the dragons is out. Chicho the pancake prankster. Ha <laughs> ha. Wasn't thinking about the quote you posted, by the way. Fox. Foxconn. Foxconn. That's right. Anti-socialist behavior. Oh, God. I see the Australian guy is saving uh, citizens by telling them to not see a beautiful sunset. <laughs> Crazy. and don't talk to your neighbors god forbid don't talk to your neighbors what? don't talk to other human beings what are you crazy i'm gonna kick this up a little bit on this side okay tapioca all right do you have uh cream uh creme frache and sugar i don't I had sour cream. He's going to get the confident and see how high he can go <laughs> with the flip. Quote, how do we get better on the ceiling? How do we get better on the ceiling? Oh, better on the ceiling. <laughs> better on the ceiling. How do we get better on the ceiling? I don't know. I had nothing to do with it. Can we flip this one? Let's check it out. Yep. Yep. I want more pancake. This is taking too long. I turned them down so we could eat. This one's ready. Let's eat a gluten-free one. Let's put another one on as well. So let's put this in the gluten-free zone. And put more batter on here. So we put oil at the beginning, right? And this is the third pancake we're making. We'll see if this this pancake is going to stick to the bottom or not. I don't think so. Um, but you can take a look at the... Um, what do you call it? When I flip it, you can look at the pan afterwards and figure out if you need more oil or not. Yeah, the tapioca is really... I. It's just in the last few years, I've started working with tapioca and it's amazing, really. 
I really like working with tapioca. It gives things a nice crispiness. Randall, I really good. And it's, it's fairly easy to work with, right? So here's the blueberry sauce. Ooh. I'm gonna put it on top, put some of the juices on there. I'm gonna pour honey on top of this. So blueberry and honey on top. Yes. We'll do the same with the other one. And where's my honey? Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. Honey is amazing. Honey is amazing. I'm gonna put this on top of this so the honey melts in. Lonely picky, what are what are you putting on them? I'm guessing syrup and honey might be obvious choices. Yeah, the first batch we ate with uh, maple syrup. This one we're doing blueberry and honey and we've got sour cream there and we've got feta cheese there mix it in mix it in oh. <laughs> might have put in a little bit too much blueberries on here oh look at this look at this can i even show you this look at this Little drip. Very good. Very delicious. Really. Fantastic. Blueberries, pancakes. Blueberries and blackberries and pancakes go amazing together. I want to put some feta in there too. And flip it. Ooh, come on. You got the goodness in there, All right? Very yummy. Very yummy. Do you eat this for dinner or sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. It all depends what I'm craving. Sometimes I go a little bit too far, right? Like a couple of months ago, ate way too many of these. But it was something new, novelty, so we we're going crazy with it. Like, look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> no, Faso, that what you're doing. Hmm. I'm gonna have to flip this one. Have a little sip of tea. Quote, remember this, the people, the people you, the people you're trying to step on were, were, were everyone you depend on, were the, were what? Were the people who do your laundry and cook your food and serve your dinner we make your bed, we guard you while you sleep, we drive the ambulance, we direct your calls, call, we are cooks and taxi drivers, and we know everything about you. We process your insurance claims and credit card charges. We control every part of your life." End quote. Kicker is, with big data and the technocrats, a lot of that is probably in the hands of the technocrats now. Excellent flipping skills. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Years of eating pancakes. I usually don't flip them though, it was by request. So we had to, we had to do it. Look at this, amazing goodness. Put some blueberries on there. We got the uh, feta inside.
We're definitely going to eat another one. We got to use up all the sauce. Swedish pancakes are thin as paper. Micro Toast says, this looks good, but I have never been a fan of sweet food. Oh, uh, it's delicious, it's good, but I prefer food. Prefer uh, savory? Savory is good, savory pancakes. By the way, I made savory pancakes with the sourdough as well. Fantastic, fantastic. It was really good. Yes, yeah, she showed 1999. Seems like a long time ago. Indeed. A few lifetimes ago for me. For everyone, really. Pigeon was pigeonzoid. What is your favorite food to cook? Including preparation. Uh, I'm interested strictly in, in cook, not eating. Um favorite food to cook. Favorite food to cook. I like I like making fries. Like making fries is amazing. Um, I like cooking korma uh, sabzi, khorish badum jun, which is a Persian dish, which is an eggplant dish. Eggplant, meat, onions, tomatoes, really good. Um, I think we made it during a live stream before. <laughs> I think we've made it. Okay, transfer. This guy needs a flip, I think. Oh, got a little splash here. Pancakes with minced beef and cheese is good. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Get rid of the stickiness on the hands. Joe, Coach Chicho, the things you own uh, end up owning you. Tyler Durden, Dur Dur very relevant to the cat discussion. Yeah, <laughs> the cats own us, man. And that's from uh, Fight Club, right? How's this guy doing? That's okay. We can cook a little bit more. Good, good, good. We've timed this pretty good. You love the clear mugs? Yeah. Yeah. I like drinking tea out of glass mugs. Any drink, really. Any liquid. I like out of glass. I'm gonna freshen this up. More tea. This is my tea. Right. And we have a tea making video out there. I've been having tea for a few hours now, so it's lost its color. So I'm going all color with it. Yeah, glass. So micro twist, same here. I only drink tea in glass mugs. Feels so much better, feels so much better. So much better. This is gonna be our last pancake gang. Actually, we're gonna put one more in this too. Check this out. One thing that happens with sourdough pancakes is especially when you use tapioca, it creates a seal and it gives it a bubble, right? It puffs up. So the air gets trapped in there, okay? The tapioca really creates a seal. It's pretty cool. Let me take a look. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can do it sideways. Yeah, you can't see it right now. Can you see it? It's like bubble, like air pocket in there. And what you can do is just squeeze it out, right? Or just let it cook and flip. 
every time I see Chicho drinking tea, I see a math triangle in my head. <laughs> All the concepts. <laughs> We have, we have like, uh, what do you call it? The binomial distribution. We did a, we did a, I did a shooting video tea, uh, how many different types of tea you could make uh, with five ingredients, I guess. And we did the binomial distribution. It's a fantastic video actually, teaching mathematics. Uh, and it's really related to our ASMR math stuff, right? Look at this, nice, nice. Let's see if this one too. Okay, I'm gonna turn off this one. Cause how many of these do we eat? We just have one of these. We gotta eat one of these guys. So we're gonna eat one of these guys. The gluteny ones. And I can't eat any more after this. So we'll leave the this on, we'll put more dough in there, so we'll have two pancakes left over. Okay. Very useful, very useful. Meow means woof in cat. <laughs> George Carlin. <laughs> George Carlin, genius, a philosopher, really, a philosopher. Right? A philosopher. Fun. Fun. How's our pancake doing? All right. Flip. Oh. Yeah, this is good. Let's put this here and bring in one more. We do. And we didn't have to add any more oil than the one we already had, right? So this one is gluteny pancake, but I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna eat it here because I've already turned off this one. Okay. And we'll keep an eye on that one and flip it. All right. There's a knife, extra knife here. Okay, we use this knife and then we use this guy. And you know what we're gonna do? Because I have my sauce left in this one. I'm gonna pour this sauce on this. Right. Don't want it to go to waste. And this one is cheese. Boop. Nice. We have to add any sauce on this. Math and tea video. We're gonna do a lot more food and math videos, gang. Once we get a little further into our content creation, go past the storm that is out right now, because we're putting in a lot of time talking about the state of the world, state of affairs, the state of our lives which needs to happen, which we do need to talk about, uh, which is, it is what it is, right? We're staying aware. Very yummy. With the blueberries, it's really good. Pancake, I mean pancake, sour cream. Mm. Deep flavor, stain stainish. However, my flowers coming along, really good. Oh, check this out. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Check out my flower pot. Um, a week ago, one of the plants was getting really tall, so I had to trim the top. So I trimmed the top of it, right? Right? 
Oh, no, not clones. We grew these from seeds, right? This is just the top of one of the flower, one of the plants that we have. So I just needed to bring it down. Okay. And it looks beautiful. I don't know why, but like, I've never really seen people have flower, like plants, cannabis plant as a flower pot. Why not? It's beautiful. Like, look at this thing. So amazing, right? And this is just sitting on our counter. It's been sitting on our counter for like a week, I guess. And it's got little, little flowers on it. See the hairs? See, I don't know if you can see it. See the hairs? Right there. Ooh, let's see, right there. Right, it's got hairs there. So it's super cool. I'm gonna put some of the uh, grape paste as well on this. It gives a nice tart taste. Cannabis bonsai. I have recently just discovered cannabis bonsai. Same concept, but it does look nice as a decorative plant. Yeah, it looks amazing. Cannabis bonsai sounds amazing as well. <laughs> That's awesome, Fred says. <laughs> Grow for us. Grow for us. No, I mean, you can make clones from these cuttings. Uh, defoliate some of the leaves. Put, uh, put it in the fridge. And the stems will shoot out roots. Put it in the fridge. Oh, defoliate some of these. Put it in the fridge. Okay. And the stems, yeah. But we're not going to... I mean, we have enough for this season, and it should produce enough for us to uh, keep us supplied for the whole year, which is great. And then next year, we'll do with seeds again. Mm, sour cream. Coach Mac, MacFB, welcome to our channel. Is he going to roll up the pancake and smoke it? Uh -huh. No, <laughs> but we do other things. <laughs> we do other things. Flipped a little too early, but that's okay. Let's check on this other pancake here. Make sure we're not burning it. It's turned off, but we want to make sure it's not going to burn. No, no, no. This is good. Don't leave it there. Bring this back. Antisocial behavior level of tapioca pancake wrapper. Yeah. I'm gonna go smoke a pancake. Be right back. You enjoy. Rendell. <laughs> Smoking pancakes. Doop, doop. Our dessert food. Look at that. Mr. Maya Miyagi, bung off, bung off. <laughs> Go for us. Terrence Mechanical, let's check this out. The cost of sanity in this society is a certain level of alienation. Yeah. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. And Terrence McKenna, amazing philosopher, right? Amazing philosopher. 
definitely incorporated some of Terrence McKenna's teachings into my life as well. Really appreciate the concept of heroic doses, right? And Bill Hicks and Terrence McKenna, someone mentioned this in our Discord page, but uh, the ape theory of human evolution as well, right? Did you guys hear that? Dre Thomas Ligotti, fiction theory. No, I don't know. Um, Thomas Ligotti, what has he written? Fiction, like science fiction and stuff, or so or uh, fantasy. Anti-socialist. Don't worry, Chicho. I'm half your age and crack worse than that. Haha. <laughs> well, I'm not too worried about it. It feels good. <laughs> it just means we can't do stealth uh stealth missions. Be quiet. Deep Flake Horror Fiction, Songs of a Dead Dreamer is his most famous collection of shorts. Wow. And his nonfiction book is called Conspiracy Against the Human Race. Oh, wow. What? What's his main, uh, well, Conspiracy Against the Human Race. Uh, what's the main thesis on that? Like, which rabbit hole does it go down? Gore Forest, it's a, it's a welcome treat to get a crack like that. Yeah, relieving. Yeah, some people can't. Joe, Senator Patty, I mean, Amidala. Quote, so this is how liberty dies, with a thunderous applause, indeed, indeed. Crazy times we live in. Crazy times we live in. This is how democracy dies, with a thunderous applause. And that quote is from when the emperor during the Senate hearing, they gave a speech, people debate, and they give him ultimate powers to do whatever he wants, right? People cheering. Wow. It's really good, man. The pancakes are fantastic. I am full though. This is the fourth pancake? <laughs> I think. Maybe the fifth pancake? Maybe the fifth pancake. Oh, the book about the conspiracy. It's mostly about pessimism, nihilism, anti-nationalism. Um, anti you know the usual Friday night stuff. Haha, <laughs> yeah. The, uh, nihilism is a major problem, right? For some reason, they've convinced people to be nihilistic, that nothing matters, but they matter. Right? They matter. I'm gonna lift this one off. Let's check this one out. No, that's okay. We can just leave it there. It's turned off, it's not gonna cook anymore. Not too much anyway. Cheryl, yeah. My knees cracking uh, st 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 startles 
any little critters away when I hunker down to weed in my garden. <laughs> but they've cracked like this for 20 years, yeah. Yeah. And cracking is not necessarily a bad thing. It's just relieving pressure, right? Was Jaja <laughs> Sith Lord? <laughs> jar Jar. The <laughs> Sea Press. Any suggestions on what to do with extra tomatoes I've grown? Uh, you can cook them up, reduce them, and just freeze them, right? So you can just cook them up, reduce them, freeze them. We we have our we, you know we have our potatoes i'm just harvesting them and eating them as they you know so we're eating a lot of tomatoes right now right so this is from our garden right and you know it was more than this <laughs> i'm going through them right so i'm i'm just eating but it, i know tomatoes if you do it right ours didn't give us much it gave okay uh, it's not bad actually but you can cook them cook them right and just make paste out of them and put it in the freezer and whenever you need a little bit of tomato in your stews or anything like that just open up the freezer and throw tomatoes in there right paladin turns hitler moment <laughs> elder god says <laughs> what's five pancakes months for what's five pancakes months friends Doomers are a huge problem. Doomers are a huge problem and, and antisocial behavior, 100%. Deep flake. Let's check this out. Quote, most people learn to save themselves by artificially limiting the con content of consciousness. Ha. Huh. Thomas Ligotti, the conspiracy against the human race, a con contri contrivance of horror. Wow. So I'm going to read that quote again. Quote, most people learn to save themselves by artificially limiting the content of consciousness. Yeah. They can't, they can't. That's why psychedelics is important, right? Certain dogmas are so embedded into certain people uh, that you can only shatter them. Uh, using extreme methods right can them sun dry them sun dry i've never done can them yeah might have to look into sun dry them here in east uh east texas texas we have a great summer you do indeed you do indeed oh julian assange quote from elder god let's check this out quote you have to start with the truth the truth is the only way that we can get it get anywhere because any decision making that is based upon lies or ignorance can't lead to a good conclusion end quote and that's from julian assange and indeed julian assange is another amazing philosopher one of the greatest philosophers of modern times right and there's going to be books lecture uh, courses there's going to be theses thesis multiple thesis theses are written on julian assange and his life and his philosophy okay all of these centralized or institutions all of the useful idiots all of the all of the propagandists that have been demonizing julian assange they will be proven uh with time to be complete morons right their lives will be meaningless right and julian assange's life will shine okay one of the greatest philosophers of modern era okay freezing them freezing them sure <laughs> by east texas anti-socialist behavior sets <laughs> to press by east texas you mean louisiana <laughs> laugh out loud yeah basically about 50 miles from the border <laughs> funny south of here okay we're turning this baby off too this is done as well we got two pancakes made that we can eat later uh when they're cold right we gotta finish off this one i'm full after this it's time to go and nap not really but it's time to listen to a nice lecture or catch up on news important important yummy really i 
and our estimate of how much we were going to eat was pretty good. Elder God, last Julian Assange quote. Let's check it out. Quote, opponents past and present have the same essential weakness about them. First, they want to use you. Then they want to be you. Then they want to snuff you out. Ha <laughs> ha. End quote. Julian Assange, man. And fantastic timing because we can't forget, gang. we got to work towards freeing Julian Assange. Right. So free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on CensorTube. Okay. Very important. Crazy times we live in. Crazy times we live in absolutely crazy times with it incredible really that was good i can take my pancake eaten apron off we got the sun shining beautiful day <laughs> i hope you guys are having a fantastic friday I'm going to spend the next few days catching up on some of the live streams we've done to upload them to our video sharing platforms. We're going to do a current events live stream next week sometime. We need to, maybe we'll do two uh, to talk about things. And our math streams are going to start up again. Okay, because the school year is starting up. Joe Chicho. Jellyfish are 97% water or something. So how much are they so how much are they doing? Just give them another 3% and make them water. It's more useful. Carl <laughs> Pilkington. Pillington. Pilkington? Carl Pilkington. So that's a quote. Jellyfish are 97% water or something. Uh or something so how much are they doing just give them another three percent and make them water it's more useful uh -huh. but jellyfish are pretty useful they're food for a lot of species they're getting us to look into longevity right and us humans are not much different what are we gang i forget how much water we're mostly air by the way mostly empty space right um aside from that if you want to talk about um you know uh, what we're made from we're mostly water as well what are what are we water we're like i forget what the percent that is it's over 80 percent ridiculously high percent around 70 depending 70 percent water we're 70 percent water <laughs> like serious and check this out this is ridiculously important right we're 70 percent water but our current economic political system is polluting water around the globe right so we're literally polluting ourselves, right? This is the the insanity of our current political economic system is just through the roof, right? We're 70% water, but we barely have any, any processes in place to protect water, right? Just look at Flint, Michigan and everything else look at look at uh, Canada with Stephen Harper with conservatives that were in power for 10 years to save on the budget there was a 1 million dollar budget that they had and Canada has the largest amount of freshwater uh, lakes in the world to save on 1 million dollars in their budget meanwhile they were giving billions away to banks and stuff and military complex and buying bombs and stuff like this right so under the pretext of saving money for the country there was a program that costs one million dollars a year to monitor the fresh water <laughs> monitor the fresh water lakes in Canada and they cut it right 
that's the current state that we're in okay that's the current state that we're in insanity we are h201 human form elder god says we are dust literally indeed without it we are dust press says deep flake and with no liquidity haha <laughs> boom bush be water like bruce lee says right anti-socialist i'm 40 percent water <laughs> bending bender and rodriguez i think he was uh what 40 percent beer or alcohol or something joe chicho carl uh plickington had a show called an idiot abroad oh, okay i don't know i don't know that show and featured on the ricky jarvis podcast oh, okay was really popular here in the uk cool 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 kebab cock balls even candy what kebabs cock balls even gandhi hilarious hilarious gang let's call the stream chicho was very full he needs to do a little bit of cleanup put things away okay wise man grow for sense and uh i'm gonna try to release uh like release a video or two uh today and uh get on to uh pulling out some segments from the previous videos and i need to go through them otherwise twitch is going to delete them i think i got one day to go through some videos so i got to get that stuff done wh auden quote quote thousands have lived without love not one without water haha <laughs> end quote deep flakes lovely stream so chill have a lovely day you as well deep flakes and thank you my pleasure thank you for being here anti-socialist behavior never believe everything never believe everything you read on the internet Abraham Lincoln Abraham Lincoln <laughs> that's great we got to make a meme out of that see how far it goes hilarious Abraham Lincoln eh? funny 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 gang aside from that thank you for being here if you want to know what this is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to support this work patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support everything's creative Commons. share and share alike and layered on mathematics Gabal, oh how the interweb has changed since the 1800s <laughs> We are live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the discussion. And mods, thank you for taking care of business. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK, Gab, Parlor, BitCloud. And if we can get back on, get her. <laughs> if not, so, <laughs> so it is, right? And we do have a Discord page. You can come to our Discord channel, Twitch channel, anytime you want, and type an exclamation mark Discord, boink, boink, boink. And the Discord link will pop up. Okay. And you can join the server there. And all the links for everything will be in the description of this video after it's been loaded to um, da -da 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 all the platforms. For live streams, when we don't have any visuals, the podcast the streams the audio for the podcast this audio for the streams will be loaded onto soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and amazon and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor tube to bitchute to rumble and to odyssey and gang, thank you for the support on all these platforms. Thank you for being here. Uh, thank you for the love. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic Friday. Okay. And uh, I'll see you guys online. I'll be on Discord and uploading videos and segments and shorts and longs. And I'll probably announce the next set of live streams uh, probably in a week or so. It's going to take me at least a week to sort of filter through, uh, go through everything and get a little bit of caught up okay but expect current events guaranteed most likely is the first one we're going to start off with and if not this next stream but the following one mathematics kicks in again okay so we're going to have our drop in math tutoring sessions philosophy is my father mother and lover haha <laughs> elder god gang i hope you have a fantastic next few days thank you for being here bye everyone <laughs>